Hey guys, I hate not being able to create videos as often, but there haven't really been that many Paladin updates over the past couple of weeks. There have only been a few hot fixes that I'm going to cover, so let's get started. So again, very minor, but today there was a hot fix during maintenance for Paladins. Apparently the Netherlight Crucible trait in Fusion of Light was procking from Greater Blessing of Wisdom's healing. This was corrected so that it no longer can proc from Blessing of Wisdom. With the Netherlight Crucible, with every relic that you get, it will be given a random three-tiered tree. Infusion of Light is a random light trait tier within it. It states, Your harmful spells and abilities have the chance to deal additional holy damage. Your helpful spells and abilities have a chance to heal. For some reason, Greater Blessing of Wisdom was proccing this ability, but now that it has been corrected through today's hotfix to no longer do so. I've put a great guide below to the Netherlight Crucible if you're interested in how it works in more detail. As for other hotfixes, there were a couple more that came out shortly after 7.3 was released in case you are curious. For Holy Paladins, healing from Avenging Crusaders should now properly scale with versatility. Versatility increases our damage and healing done by a percentage and also reduces the amount of damage we take. Avenging Crusader is a tiered honored talent that states, You become the ultimate Crusader of Light, increasing your Crusader Strike, Judgment, and Auto Attack damage by 30%. The cooldown recovery rate of your Crusader Strike and Judgment is increased by 30%, and when you deal damage with those abilities, you and the nearest two injured allies will be healed for 200% of the damage done, lasting for 25 seconds. Apparently this was not scaling properly with versatility at first, but now it has been fixed. As for Retribution, Templar's Verdict and Divine Storm now deal 7% less damage in PvP. Apparently they were doing too much damage. And finally, Legion PvP Season 5 armor sets have been released. We've got the Alliance set here, which is true to its name, looks very much Alliance-like in terms of color and style. But here, check out the Horde set. I must say, I think the color is kind of ugly. If I had to pick between the two, I think the Alliance set looks way better. But maybe it's just because this set is on a human and doesn't really look good on a human. Like, it might look better on a Torin or something, I'm not sure. And uh, here's a look at the Elite set. So again, the style is really cool and all. I love how the shoulders flare outward like spiked wings, but I'm not in love with the color scheme on this set. What do you guys think? Which one is your favorite? So that's all I've got in this video guys, uh, keep an eye out for my live stream, subscribe to my channel for updates for when I go live and when I release a new video. Thank you for the support, if you like it give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.